Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jackie Ina. Jackie, 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 Jackie. I have been wanting to do a Nigeria versus American makeup for a long, periodically time. Ever since I started seeing Kristen Dominique doing these videos on her channel like years ago, I don't know if she started this trend. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Please do not assassinate me in the comments. Thank you, please. Basically, it's this side-by-side tutorial where you compare like one makeup trend look in one specific region and then contrast that and compare it to another, which would be in this case, America versus Nigeria. I'm Nigerian and I'm also American. I follow a lot of Nigerian makeup artists and I, I'm very familiar with like Nigerian bridal work, Nigerian special events work and all that nature. And I'm kind of seeing that there's actually a lot of crossover now, whereas Nigerian makeup four or five years ago used to be really loud, a really epic, more statement. It's now becoming a lot more wearable. And also four or five years ago, makeup in America was not as boisterous as it is now when you are scrolling down your explore page and you're seeing girls explore color and you're seeing big lashes. Makeup is becoming more accessible. I'm also gonna be using my baby, the Bella Doors Elf Collab. She just recently launched a collection, a full blown collection with Elf Cosmetics. I'm super proud of her, I love her. I also want to do a full face of Nigerian makeup brands. So if there's any that you know are really good and really reputable, shout them down below in the comments. But aside from all that, let's go ahead and get started. I'm about to go in. First, let's start off with skin prep. I'm gonna take the NARS Pore Shine and Control Primer. I do have oily combination skin, so you already know what time it is. That toned down a lot of the shine. Hold on, pause. I'm nominated for another People's Choice Award this year, Influencer People's Choice Award, and I would really appreciate your vote, so I'm gonna leave a link down below in the description box. Please vote for your girl, okay? I'm the only black girl on there holding it down. I wish it wasn't like that, but hey, I guess that's just where we are today. You guys actually voted me up so that I can go of the awards last year. Now that we primed, I, <laughs> that was so hoity-toity. So this has become the designated Nigeria side and this has become the designated American side, which is basically gonna be the same way I do my makeup every day. One thing that I don't do though is brows before foundation and I feel like that is a very Nigeria thing to do. Whatever I clown brows before foundation, I really do, it's just jokes. Guys, it was all a lie. Love you, it's a totally different look. It's not necessarily a bad look. It's just a lot more of a structured brow and it's, I don't know. I mean, I guess I just, I'm a fan, but not really a fan. I'm a moderated fan, but we definitely don't want anybody to feel like they're in the wrong for doing this. It's just different, that's all. I'm gonna take my Maybelline brow pencil. You guys, if you haven't tried these brow pencils, you need to now buy three, one for you, one for your grandma and a backup. I'm gonna fill in my brow with black brown first to get a really precise, accurate shape. This feels so weird doing this on bare skin. I haven't done this in a long time. I haven't done this in years. Who am I? I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm going tonight with two different faces though. By the way, speaking of Nigeria makeup, let me just put you on, okay? If you haven't followed Joy Adenuga or Dima Ume or Theodora Michael on Instagram, that is all things Nigeria beauty. They're so talented, fellow Nigerian artists, and you guys really should check them out. I'm just saying, you know, we love to shout out the girls. You know, we love to put the girls on to other talent. This is actually gonna be one of the rare occasions where it's gonna be okay that my brows don't match because we're doing two different faces. Okay, now I think we should definitely do a little bit of sculpting on this side. Makeup in Nigeria is very snatched. It's very perfection driven, and it's just like, we don't wanna see no flaws. So I'm taking a little bit of my skin tone colored concealer. Old Jackie's coming back, throwback Jack. Really get that angle? I'm just gonna tilt and blend, girl. Like I want this brow to not have a single hair out of place. And by the way, just because this is the Nigeria style makeup, it doesn't necessarily mean that this style is specific to Nigeria. It just happens to be what I've noticed, really popular and really trendy there. Oh, 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 I wiped it off. I am so sorry. Already we have a very different side left to right. Let's go right into foundation. I'm gonna take the Estee Lauder Double Wear. This is a full, full spin spackle coverage foundation. So if you need to cover up brain activity, a criminal record, maybe some lace residue, this would be the foundation for that. Also keep in mind in places like Nigeria, it tends to get pretty hot and very humid. So having a foundation that's gonna stay put and not move throughout the day is very important. The color that I use is sandalwood. Less is definitely more because very easy to get carried away with this foundation. So using Nabella's brush from her e.l.f. collab, I'm just going to blend this out. This is just one of those formulas where it kind of 
sneaks up on you. You don't think it's covering as much as it actually is until you take a photo and you've been clocked. Watch yourself. I know my brow looks really red. Don't worry, we're getting there. We're working around it, okay? Mind your business. By the way, if you haven't thought about subscribing by now, you're dead wrong. And I wanna see you do better in 2020, sis. Start making better choices now. Why play catch up later? Start making better choices now. What do you guys think about a video on how to keep makeup on your nose? I hear that complaint from people a lot. It's like the number one concern I hear from people a lot lately. Let me know your thoughts. I wanna, I wanna know that. Okay. I really want to know. The thing that I hate about doing this brow first is like you have to really, really be careful with where you apply the complexion products after that. And like, I just want to apply the product wherever I want to apply the damn product. On a regular day, I'm a brows after foundation kind of gal. And when it comes to complexion, <laughs> give me full coverage, but also give me a little of my skin. I'm going to take NARS Sheer Glow on the Western side. Oh, and the shade that I use, by the way, is Macau. I remember how long I slept on this foundation, truly thinking that it was going to be a glowy, hot mess on my oily skin, but it's the exact opposite it's such a beautiful formula you get the coverage you want without being a hot sticky mess California is very dry so when it comes to these kinds of foundations that aren't super matte like you can kind of get away with it more also you got to get away with the slick down edges look that's why you guys are constantly asking me how does my hair always stay slicked down it's because it's so dry girl like there's no moisture in the air it's actually an epidemic can I tell the difference between the two sides yet <sighs> I forgot I wanted to do this. I'm gonna be highlighting under the skin on the American side because this is a very lit from within kind of thing that I normally like to do. Whenever I wanna look highlighted without necessarily wearing highlighter itself. And this is one of my favorite tricks for someone who maybe has textured skin and doesn't wanna put a powder highlight over that and highlight. This is Patina, the Anastasia Liquid Glow. Patina is like a nice, really subtle gold. Just watch. I meant to actually do this underneath my foundation, but that's okay, you get the same idea. We're gonna put concealer on top of it anyway, it's okay. This just, in my opinion, gives the skin a really nice, healthy, youthful glow. Lots of glow in the US, less highlighting. And those sound like they're the same thing, but it's completely, it's completely different. And if you are a makeup expert, or somewhat of a makeup enthusiast, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Highlighted looks a little bit more forced, okay? Glow from within is literally like no product. You're just oozing sunshine rays. I got a pocket, we got a pocket full of highlighter. Oh, oh, whoa. Okay, now this is what you, this is what you really do to unlock the glow is you have to start at your cheekbone, but end at your temple. So you wanna create a C shape, basically. Do you see what I've unleashed? Yeah, we can do like a little bit of the foundation on top. This alone to me just screams like everyday glam, California beauty. We're gonna be contouring on the Nigeria side because we definitely want a super sculpted and defined face. And then I'm gonna take the Kevin Aquan Sensual Skin Enhancer. This has got to be one of the most full coverage concealers that are on the market, period. But I'm gonna start with shade 14 to act as a corrector. Just gonna go right underneath the eye where I get the little baggies. If you're wearing concealer and you still see some of that underlying darkness showing up, that's because you need a color corrector. So this is kind of acting as a corrector for me. It's canceling out so that whatever I put on top of it will look more true to color. On this side, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna use a concealer that's a little bit more skin-like, a little bit more breathable. This is NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, one of my all-time faves. The shade that I'm using is Hazelnut. Hazelnut is kind of red, kind of orange. It's gonna cancel out some of that under eye darkness. Let me make one thing very clear if you're new to my my channel when I say cancel out darkness I don't mean like the color of my skin I just mean that underlying dark girl pigment that's underneath the eye that keeps the girls from flourishing that's the kind of darkness I'm talking about we're not canceling anything but dark eye bags let's just be very clear on that now let's go ahead and blend these out individually you'll already start to see where each look is gonna start looking different because that Kevin Aquan concealer is no joke like it is so full coverage the NARS concealer is nice but I mean you can wear it daytime and nighttime it just depends on like what your vibe is it's full coverage but can also be sheared down I'm gonna take my Oma Beauty concealer on the Nigeria side because I mean it's a Nigerian owned brand so why not this is also a very full coverage concealer it is 
one of the best formulas out there right now. I mean, like it covers every freaking thing. For extra highlighting, I'm gonna take a little bit of butterscotch from Too Faced. This is what I like to do when I wanna look a little bit more glamorous than my everyday look, you know, to kind of separate the two. I'll add extra highlighting to really brighten that under eye. We love really, really bright under eye in Nigeria. Not bright as in light, but just like luminous, glowy, powerful. That kind of vibe. On the American side, we've already started with the NARS concealer, so I'm just gonna keep it consistent. I forgot to highlight my forehead, duh. Let me tell you something, in every country, I'm highlighting that five head and my nose. How do I split countries between my nose highlight though? I'm talented, but I'm not that talented, so it's just gonna be all the same here. <laughs> So I'm not really gonna go as bright on this side. I'm gonna take Amand, which is my highlight color, but it's not as standout-ish as it is on this side. It's a little bit closer to my complexiones. And I'm also gonna apply slightly less concealer. Even though it looks like I'm spreading it out in the same manner, there's more concealer piled up on this side than there will be on this side. Just trust me, guys, just trust me. I'm gonna try really hard to make this so different from each other. I'm gonna really, really try to apply myself, okay? So bear with me. I'm also gonna take a little bit of walnut to act as corrector. And then let's also highlight our chins. We're also gonna highlight our chin. I like to kind of blend my contour first and then blend into concealer and oh it's a lot of contour nothing i can't handle i'm a child of god so i'm gonna let jesus blend vicariously through his hands i'm gonna let him use me i'm glad we're doing concealer after this because then i could cover up some of this mistake we've done here i didn't realize i added that much please bear with me we'll just be really sculpted today this looks very full coverage already so i'm blending out the concealer and i just like to blend both shades into one another all the way into my contour let's actually just snatch her back up towards the brow i don't normally like to do this because i feel like this adds an extra element of glamour but i'm not willing to commit to every day you know just like i'm just i'm just going to home foods guys we don't need that much coverage. Now, as you can see, I'm blending this all out with my sponge, but on this side, I'm actually gonna switch to the brush for some parts of the concealer to make it look a little bit more subtle and blend it out and lived in. But I'll go right back to the sponge to blend out the concealer and keep it kind of close to the under eye area. See, you know how I extend this one outwards to kind of snatch the face and pull it upward? This one, I'm actually gonna round out and keep right under the eye. Now that I've blended out the concealer, I'm actually gonna add a little bit more butterscotch to brighten just a tap just a hair i feel like she want to go out tonight maybe she wants to study but she definitely wants to go to a wedding tonight now it's time to powder and the powder that we choose is also going to be based on the look we want to achieve i'm going to take cashew from fenty beauty this is a little bit more of a muted powder like if i don't want to look too glowy under the eyes i'll go with cashew it's like a nice subtle bit that was really stupid Open. You get my drift. This is like an everyday powder. I dipped it into the container and then I like to pat off the excess so I get as little powder as possible. Like I don't even really bake these days anymore. I just kind of put the powder on. There's nothing to wipe off by the time I'm done with my face. So I don't know if y'all call that a bake. I just call it setting my concealer. Now when I'm going out and I really want to look ultra snatched, I'm gonna go for my Derma Blend. And the reason why I use this powder is not only for its color, but also for its formula. You see how it's kind of buttery golden? This is a really nice shade for someone who this is a really 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 good shade for someone who has under eye darkness and also has golden undertones and wants to really brighten up that really glowy look it actually does slightly make the concealer look a little bit more golden now i don't just stop here on this side i mean i really must be stopped but no one has yet to so pull up then don't that you think but she do <laughs> I actually go in with an even lighter powder, also from Fenty, but this one is in the shade Banana. See how light it is? Yeah, I wouldn't use this powder by itself if you paid me, but when you use it with another powder, you can wiped up. Go right underneath the eye with this. So you get this really nice gradient of highlighting. And once again, I don't bake, I just put the powder on. So if you have to take the excess off on the back of your hand, that helps a lot. I find that if you have like a lot of texture underneath the eye, this kind of helps minimize it. When you pile on powder, like it just doesn't look cute anymore. Brianna Stanko was right. Once you turn 30, stop baking, throw it away. Okay, I know somebody ain't gonna like that in the comments. I didn't mean it like, I didn't mean it like that, okay? Maybe if you had a baking powder that you were passionate about, that you would know what it feels like to have a baking powder. Don't 
So don't even come at me like that. I already know what the comments are gonna be like. For my American side, this will be the time where I do the brows after I set with powder. Still gonna use the Maybelline brow pencils, but I'm gonna take the lighter shade, make it a little bit more subtle. Pretend like there's a difference in brow. It's For me, it's all the same. The glam brow, the everyday brow, it's all the same for me. This shade is deep brown. I just have to say that the models that they create these makeup demos on, on the Nigeria Instagram pages that I follow are so freaking stunning. What a time to be Nigerian. Facial structure, boom. Okay, eye shapes, stunning, flawless. Everything just looks amazing on melanin. Not to discount anyone else, but I'm a little, a little bit biased just saying. I like to add a little bit of red brow gel whenever I want that bleached kind of brow look. This one is from ABH and this really helps give the brow a more defined look. You see that? You see that? You see that? You know that brow hair look? When someone fills in their brows, this will kind of help you achieve that. So on this side, I'm going to seal in that contour a little bit more. Whereas on this side, I'm going to go for a softer, more bronzy look. These are both bronzers from the lip bar, but one is significantly darker. So it's going to look like I contoured. This is in the shade Staycation. On a normal day, this would be like way too dark for me. I can finally have something that's too dark for me. Do you know how rare that is? Shout out to the lip bar. This is also a black owned brand. They have amazing bronzers. I've used these so many times in my videos. As if we haven't contoured enough and just add some sculpt to the cheeks and also to our forehead. Then on this side, I'm, I'm gonna take a fluffier brush because I want a more airbrushed, effortless looking bronzy look. We're just only bronzing really to add the natural sun kiss glow to the skin. Whereas on this side, we're like actually shaping the face. And Yes, I know I put a lot of contour on, but I like to kind of blend it into my blush. Pause, okay? Stop judging. How come y'all tell me my lace was showing? Y'all are dead wrong. And I don't know if you can tell you guys, but here, let me find the right, let me find the right. Is this the right angle? Do you see that? glow though. Okay, the eyes are about to get really fun. First, I'm gonna take some concealer and, is this the right shade? No, it's not. Let me stop. I'm gonna take my Born This Way concealer on both eyes and just prime the eyelid for an extra pop of color to get the shadows to really lift off of the pan. I'm gonna take a little bit of the Anastasia. This is their eye primer. Miss Dorvina, sis, we're still waiting on those shade extensions, girl. Girl, I need a flesh tone for chalk melanin infused. I need one, don't worry. I'm gonna be the first to get it too, thank you. I like to actually mix this with my concealer so that it's not so stark on my complexion. But this really is a really, really good way to get the shadows to really pop up. Soft washes of color is a lot more celebrated here. That's because in Nigeria, we black, so we need more pop. Asians. I'm gonna take my palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You know, we goes hard in the paints for the Jackie Anna palette over here. I know y'all sick of pink, but I can't help it. Actually, you know what? I can help it, but it's a choice not to help myself. <laughs> Ah, silly. I'm gonna take one of Nabella's brushes, Pinker from my, why the hell not? Let's do Pinker and Supreme. We're gonna take that color and pounce that right on that outer V area. First, by just kind of like setting the color down. Let me set you down, even if it takes so nice. I actually just went back to Pinker. I'm now using Pinker by itself. I'm gonna use Supreme like around Pinker a little bit later. We'll get there. We're gonna get there, damn, be patient. I'm going in with Supreme around pinker and using this as a softening transition color. And you know what? I'm also going to kind of drag some of these colors outward to lift the eye. You see, you see, you see what I said? You see what I did there? You see it. I know you see it. And on this side, I'm actually going to round out the shadow. I remember one of the first time a MAC makeup artist did my makeup and she applied the shadow in this brown shape and it just, just changed my life, bro. I'm gonna throw ginger on the outer corner of my eye, but only on this side to really make this a soft wash of color. Just kind of buff it in, make it look a little bit more natural. I feel like the expectation is to use purple to darken the crease, but instead I'm gonna go against the grain and just use, I'm just gonna use credit. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. This is also the brush from Nabella's kit, by the way, from e.l.f. And oh my God, I think that's my first time using credit with the purples like this, because I always take big wig, but that's really pretty. And I'm buffing and brushing that outward so we get a nice nice V shape. I'm stamping that color in because like I said, we wanna go V shape. We're gonna take Zam from the palette and pop that right onto my lid. Oh, oh, this color. Like this color is so beautiful that sometimes I get sick. 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 Oh, how beautiful it is. 
stop sleeping on this bed. Stop sleeping on Zam. Stop. Just stop. Stop. Now that that outburst is over, I'm gonna take Wigglies, Wiggly, this orange shade next to Zam, and we're gonna pop that as our middle color. So we get a nice gradient going. Now a little bit of glitter I feel will really amp up this look. So I just got these new really cool pressed glitters from LA Girl. I've never used them before, but they seem kind of cute. So I'm gonna take the shade Electrify. I'm going to stamp that, oh, that's so so pretty, wow. I'm just gonna stamp that like kind of like on the center of my eyelid. That is so pretty. I'm going to do liquid liner. I don't know what has possessed me, but I'm gonna do black liquid liner. Oh, this is brown. So we just gonna pop that dough on that eyelid. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. We definitely want this eye to be a lot more smokier and sultry. So I'm taking black liner to that waterline. And then I'm gonna smoke out my bottom lash line. I think I'm gonna use big wig. Yeah, we're gonna do it. Oh, that's so pretty. So something about purple on my bottom lash line just does it for me. You are very beautiful to me. Then I'm gonna smudge that out with a little bit of pinker. Ooh, this is such a good brush to dust off the extra shadow. Come through to Bella. Okay, now you probably wonder when the hell you gonna finish this eye and I'm about to, can you please be patient? Damn. I'm gonna take Lituation, this color here. It's like a taupey. This color is really nice for every day. It's got color, but it's also subtle enough to like be worn to work without getting fired. Cause you know, you already been on probation a couple times. So you might wanna watch, you might wanna watch yourself. People have been sleeping on Lituation like, and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Now for this eye in the waterline, I'm gonna go with brown liner because I like brown liner during the day. It's a little bit more softer. I'm gonna smudge a little bit of pinker along that waterline, just a little bit. Okay, this is cute. Something's missing. Inner corner tear duck, duh. I'm gonna take trust issues, boom. A little bit of neon vibes for that assumption, for that assumption. Oh, and then for this eye, we're gonna use Soleil in the inner tear duct. I've never done this before. This is crazy. I'm gonna use two different lashes on each eye. Congratulations to Crispy who just launched Unscripted Beauty, her new lash line. I'm gonna be using these because they look really good. On our Nigeria side, I'm gonna do Risky, as in Bob Risky. Hey girl, how you doing? <laughs> She's so funny. She's a mess, I love her. But yeah, my girl Crispy, fellow influencer, fellow glam girl, just launched these lashes and they look really fire. And then on this side, so on my America side, I'm gonna use Legendary, Legendary. This one is definitely like a lash that I could wear every day. Like look how bomb this is, it's so gorgeous. Wow. These are fire. I had to trim them down to fit my eye shape. Look at the difference. Now for blush, I'm gonna go cream on the American side because cream just looks more skin-like and it looks a little bit more natural. Natural is such a fake, it's a scam, sis. It's not real. This is a cream blush from NARS in the shade Dolce Vita. I honestly, I never really thought about this, but I'm not even sure if they still sell these. They may not, I don't know. Anyway, you get my drift. It's a pink liquid to cream blush. It helps the skin glow. I like I like these because it adds a nice healthy glow to the skin for those of us that have oily skin and want that manufactured glowy look because we know we're gonna be oily in like two hours anyway. I'm gonna take the Iconic London, whatever this is, I don't know, I got it from one of my BoxyCharm boxes and I really like it because it smells good. And I'm gonna spray this side to add a nice <coughs> skin like fit. <laughs> Finish. I feel like this eye, this lash is so heavy that this eye is just, is, look at this, look at this, you see the difference? Like this one's awake, she's ready to clock in, she's ready for work, she's ready to file papers, she's ready to do some clerical responsibilities. This girl look like she been out for a couple hours. She caught the bouquet at the wedding. On my Nigeria side, I'm gonna go for a matte blush that's got a little bit more coverage. This is from Colored Rain in the shade Damage Control. It is a blush slash highlighter duo, but we're just gonna use the blush. You're still here. Shout out to you, I appreciate the support. Nabella's highlighter looks absolutely beautiful and I'm gonna be using it for the Nigeria side. I actually kind of feel like this would look stunning as an eyeshadow as well. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of that. I'm gonna take this and follow the natural curve of the face. That's so pretty. Wow. We're gonna follow that all the way up into the temple so that when we turn the face, we get all this glow, all this glow. Now one fun little tip that I've been following from my girl Sonia and Faiza on Instagram, they are so cute. I love their Instagram. I like to take a translucent powder and do their buffing technique where you basically take your skin tone colored, not that much, 
buff the final product in with translucent powder and it just kind of like melts everything together especially if you a little heavy-handed i know how some of y'all are this technique is for you so do you see how that kind of melted everything into my skin everything now looks a lot more blended and less stand out ish for this side i'm gonna set with the morphe setting spray this is a little bit more of a full glam. I hate the way that spray smells, damn it. I don't like it. And everybody who tried to argue, what do you look like arguing with my opinion of how a product smells? You look crazy. It's my nose, not yours. Stop. I don't like the way the spray smells. I really don't. Use code EDGES at checkout though. I'm allowed to be an affiliate and to also tell you the damn truth. Like I'm dead serious. Use code EDGES at checkout. You think I forgot about my mold? Dude, no, I didn't. I'm gonna top my lip with a little bit of concealer just to even it out on the Nigeria side. We're kind of seeing a lot of like 90s trends being regurgitated in the US makeup trend. So I'm gonna take a slightly darker lip pencil. This one is from Pat McGrath. I'm gonna line my lips and I know we also do love overlining just a little bit. And even if you already have full lips, it still looks really cute. Just don't overdo it. Cause then we gonna have to drag you. That's fine. But you know, watch your mouth. I'm not gonna add lipstick on the America side, just a little bit of fussy gloss from Fenty. So we kind of get that our lips but better lived in natural lip color for everyday daytime glam. Do y'all like these descriptions I've been coming up with? <laughs> everyday daytime glam, full factor shock value, everyday neutral looks for the girls. Real housewives of Anastasia Beverly Hills. This side, I'm gonna do a softer liner because I wanna go with a pinky nude lip color. From the Nigeria side, I'm gonna take my minted lipstick in the shade Nude La La. It's a nice, beautiful nude pink, but it's got some color in it too. Please don't argue with me in the comments talking about, well, I'm Nigerian and I love nude lips. We're not talking about all of you. The makeup looks that I see, the lips are less muted than what we do in the US. Like we love nudes. And I've noticed that like Nigeria just has a really fine appreciation for color on the lips. So I wanted to go pink. And then I'm gonna take Nabella's gloss in the shade Myra Nude. Yo, what are the odds of this being called Called My I don't know if it's pronounced Myra or Mayra, but the currency in Nigeria is Naira and this gloss is called Myra. Like, I don't know. Ooh, wait, is this a gloss or liquid lipstick? Girl, I don't know what, okay, whatever it is, we gonna use it. I thought this was a gloss, but it feels more like the consistency of a liquid lip. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna make it work. I'm gonna use one of her brushes to kind of paint this lip color on. Yeah, that's gotta be a liquid lip. I'm tripping, my bad y'all. Okay, it is really hard to perfectly execute two completely different lip colors on two different lips on each side of your lip color. So bear with me if it doesn't look perfect, okay? I don't wanna hear it. This lip was supposed to be glossy, so I grabbed my NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Praline, and I'm gonna go right over that. That is it. How did I do, how did I do? If you're repping from the US, let me know if this is pretty spot on. And if you are joining us from Nigeria, or if you're a Nigerian living abroad somewhere else, let me know how I did. Congratulations once again to my friends Nabella and Chris. Crispy on Unscripted Beauty, the lashes are fire. Like this look turned out so bomb. And also my girl Nabella on your amazing collaboration with Elf Cosmetics. By the way, this dress, this is actually one of my favorite dresses this season. It is from a Nigerian designer. Nigerians just be killing the fashion game. I mean, a little biased, sure, why not? But hey, the, the receipts don't lie. This is a dress that I got from, I know I'm not saying the same properly, but it's Asiami Gold. Girl, when I tell you she snatches, girl, she, like she just hugs and tugs and rubs on me. What waste? Anyway, you already know what time it is. That's the end of today's video. And if you haven't already subscribed, what the hell are you doing? You're problematic. You're canceled, in fact, while you're at it. Please be sure to join the Jackie Anna family so that you can see future uploads because you made it this far. You <laughs> obviously like something. And let's be real, this ain't your first tutorial and it sure as hell won't be your last. Speaking of tutorials, if you really like this one, then you'll probably like all the other videos I've created. And guess what? I make it so easy for you to find other videos. It's just right here. Just go ahead and click. Whenever you're ready, just go ahead. You know you ain't got nothing else to do anyway, so what you waiting for?